up Zany friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we're going to talk about the second book in the Truly Devious series and that is The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. Uh, for The Vanishing Stair it takes us to uh, a couple weeks ahead of the first book, Truly Devious, Ooh. where we see uh, Elle. And you, and you have now read this book so you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We uh, The first book. Yes. Yeah. So we see Elle has run away as a, as a suspect, we think, of murdering, uh... The dude. The dude. <laughs> His name I can't remember. Um, it's okay. He was a completely forgettable YouTube star. No one ever remembers Hayes. His YouTube. name is Hayes. And uh, so Elle is suspected of uh, murdering Hayes, and so she runs off. And so they're, they've been trying to find her, and they cannot find her. They don't know what happened to her at all. Uh, we are still trying to further the mystery of who killed uh, the main, the guy who set up the, the school, his wife, and uh, where is his daughter Alice? We don't know. So in this book, Stevie is again not only trying to figure all of that out, but she's also trying to help find Elle because she doesn't believe that Elle is really off the mountain. There's no way she could have gotten off the mountain with only what she had on her, yeah. right? So she's she's trying to find her. But the problem is she's not at the school. Um, sh her parents have flipped out and said, no, you're not going back to school and have dragged her out. So now she's kind of just doing her own thing and trying to figure out, uh, because of the things that she has found in Elle's room, there's like a little tin of things, mm -hmm. little evidence. So stuff. she's trying to put those things together at her house. When, lo and behold, that guy shows up, Edward King, and says to her, you know what? I'm going to persuade your parents, because they work for me, to, go, to send you back to school as long as you keep an eye on my son. And that's the caveat. So she returns back to the school to find out that his son is losing his marbles. <laughs> totally losing his marbles. Because he was very good friends with Elle. Yeah. And he also does not believe that Elle has made it off the mountain. She's hiding somewhere. He's going to find her. And that is kind of what happens with Vanishing Stare for the, for, the, for the first part. But of course we know the other part happens in the past. So she's trying to also find out Frankie and David. Frankie and Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of yeah. people in this book. Frankie and Eddie. Frankie and Eddie. So she's also trying to find out how that all fits in the whole story of the kidnapping. I really enjoyed the first book of the series. It, it was a nice take on the mystery and how they're, they're running these characters. So I'm definitely going to be reading the second one. It's currently sitting over there in my nook. Mm -hmm. um, for when I'm done with everything else on my list. Spoilers, there's more on my list. Yeah, there is. Uh, there is also the third book I'm going to be reading next month, and there is a fourth book coming out sometime in the future, but it is not a continuation of the kidnapping, but it is still the same characters and they go to camp. So it, it should be interesting, it's the box Something about a box. I can't really remember. Anyway, so what I thought about this book. So I really like this book because it kind of turns some things that happened in the first book on its head. And because he hasn't read it, and because you probably haven't read it, or you may have, um, I'm not going to tell you how, but I will tell you that you do kind of find out who the murderer is? Question mark? Uh, the reason why I say that is because I have a feeling that in the third book, even though they have revealed that who is behind it, I don't know if that's all the story, if that's really everything. Uh, if you've got three books and there's a bigger mystery in hand, mm -hmm. that first murder probably has a lot more going on to it. I, I, yeah, I think, that, I think that there is someone else behind it than what, what we are seeing in this book. That is riveting to me. Uh, I gave this book four stars because I really, I continue to like how it is uh, kind of all unwinding and I can't wait to read the third book. I hope I have time next month. I'm going to make time to do it. Um, and of course you're excited. Oh yeah. 
So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in knowing how we like the rest of the books in the series, please subscribe down below. And until next time, bye-bye.